Here we'll learn an overview of gram-positive cocci and the illnesses they cause. Gram-negative cocci, which include Neisseria, are discussed elsewhere. To begin, indicate that gram-positive cocci can first be categorized as catalase-positive or catalase-negative. Catalase-positive cocci include species of Staphylococcus. Catalase-negative cocci include species of Streptococcus and Enterococcus. Let's elaborate on Staphylococcus. First show that species of Staphylococcus can be categorized based on the presence of coagulase, which is a bacterial enzyme that induces blood or plasma coagulation. The coagulase positive group comprises Staphylococcus aureus. Coagulase negative species include Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Indicate that some strains of Staphylococcus aureus, which is named for its golden color, are resistant to the antibiotic methicillin. These strains are called MRSA, or MRSA. Infections caused by these strains are particularly difficult to treat. Let's summarize some important inflammatory and toxin-mediated infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus. First show that skin infections include various purulent conditions, such as impetigo, peruncles, and others. Serious organ infections include endocarditis, pneumonia, and infections of the bones and joints that lead to osteomyelitis and septic arthritis. Then show that Staphylococcus aureus can cause toxic shock syndrome. Formerly associated with tampon use, septic shock now occurs at least as often, if not more often, in non-menstruating individuals. Show that toxic shock syndromes characterized by acute onset of fever, GI upset, sore throat, and diffuse erythroderma. Desquamation occurs when the skin begins to peel and flake away. Then indicate that scalded skin syndrome, another desquamating condition, is most common in infants and young children. In our illustration, we've shown the characteristic red and flaky areas of skin. Lastly, show that Staphylococcus aureus can cause food poisoning. Then write two species of Staphylococcus that are coagulase negative. Indicate that Staphylococcus epidermidis is an important source of medical device infections, particularly in individuals with prosthetic joints and valves or catheters and shunts. It's a significant cause of bacterial sepsis. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is a common cause of urinary tract infections. Now let's learn about catalase-negative gram-positive cocci. First, indicate that hemolysis can be used to distinguish between species that are alpha-hemolytic, beta-hemolytic, and gamma-hemolytic. Then write that alpha-hemolytic strains can be further distinguished by their sensitivity to optochin. Streptococcus pneumoniae is sensitive to optochin, whereas Bearden's group streptococci are not. Show that Streptococcus pneumoniae is associated with pneumonia, otitis media, and sinusitis, as well as meningitis. Bearden's group Streptococci are associated with subacute endocarditis and dental caries, as well as some other infections not listed here. Then show that beta hemolytic Streptococci can be distinguished by their sensitivity to bacitracin. Group A Streptococcus is sensitive, whereas group B Streptococcus is not. Show that group A streptococcus, also known as streptococcus pyrogenes, causes pharyngitis with white exudate in the tonsil, strep throat. Some people also develop a rash all over their bodies called scarlet fever. Group A streptococcus is also responsible for a variety of soft tissue infections, which can range from impetigo, erysipelas, to the more serious cellulitis or even necrotiding fasciitis. Like Staphylococcus aureus, group A streptococcus can cause toxic shock syndrome. Indicate that a delayed antibody-mediated reaction to group A streptococcus infection can occur in some patients and may produce post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis or rheumatic fever. Next, show that group B streptococcus, also called Streptococcus agalectii, is associated with neonatal infections including meningitis, pneumonia, and bacteremia. Because the neonates acquire the bacteria from their mothers, prenatal care should include screening for group B streptococcus. Post-pregnancy infections can also have serious consequences for the mother. Indicate that adult infections can manifest similarly. They can include bacteremia, pneumonia, and bone, joint, and soft tissue infections. 
Lastly, indicate that gamma hemolytic bacteria that can grow in relatively high concentrations of salt and bile are categorized as enterococcus. These bacteria were formerly categorized as group D streptococcus and are commonly commensals of the GI tract. Indicate that of particular concern are strains of indicate that of particular concern are strains that are resistant to vancomycin and that enterococci are a significant cause of nosocomial infections, hospital-acquired infections. Write that enterococci are commonly associated with urinary tract infections, as well as endocarditis, peritonitis, and bacteremia. Be aware that Streptococcus bovis, which is also gamma hemolytic but cannot thrive in high salt concentrations, causes similar illnesses as enterococcus, and is also associated with colorectal cancer. This concludes our diagram.